start this address by uh, commending the very excellent work that His Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State, Governor Willie Obiano, has done in driving economic development in this state. And I want to make this point because the economy of Nigeria largely depends on the effort that is made at the sub-national level, that is at the state level. It is the aggregation of the good work that is done on the states that inures to uh, the great uh, economy that we hope and that we are working for, for this nation of ours. Anambra State's revenue has increased from about 10.4 billion in 2014 to 26.37 billion as of 2019. And this is an almost 152% increase in the state's IGR. I'm not sure what the current figures are, but if uh, the figures of the last year are anything to go by, then we would have seen a significant increase. The enabling environment and ease of doing business measures that have been implemented in Anambra State have seen it become uh, one of the fastest growing manufacturing hubs in the country. Newe, which houses, Newe, which houses uh, key local manufacturing companies, including Innocent uh, Vehicle Manufacturing, Tommy Tommy Industries, Chickasin Group, amongst others, is evidence of the entrepreneurial ability of, uh, of our people, of the, of the Nigerian people, and the drive that is possible, but also importantly, the enabling environment that states can create and can uh, and can endure. And what we've seen here today is evidence of that. We're coming from Ogunike, where we uh, launched a shoe-making shared facility, which has very uh, good equipment for shoe-making, state-of-the-art equipment uh, for shoe-making. And this is a joint effort of the federal government of Nigeria and Anambra State to make it easier for the shoemaking ecosystem in Obunike to be able to manufacture shoes at um, and not, not just uh, good quality shoes, but really high volume. And today we've, we've been able to launch that. And, and I think that it's important to continue to emphasize that the way that the economy will develop is through small businesses powered by, by states and assisted as much as possible by the federal government. But this is all the more impressive, considering the fact that a lot of this economic progress that we've seen in this state is, despite the limitations on electricity supply in the state, following the creation of Anambra State in August 1991, industrial as well as commercial activities grew significantly and very quickly overwhelmed the existing uh, supply arrangements to Orca in particular, which was then the new Anambra state uh, capital. So this led to the eventual installation of a one unit 40 MVA 132 slash, one, uh, slash 33 KV mobile transformer substation, which was erected then by the TCN in Orca. But in recognition of the deficit of the willing capacity in the state, the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, through the NIPP, committed to undertake to upgrade the transmission infrastructure in Oka by constructing this new 132-33 kV substation equipped with two 60 MVA transformers. This project was energized and achieved technical commissioning, as we've heard from the Maijin Director, at about 4.30 p.m. on Thursday, 26 November 2020. Since then, this new substation has been in service, providing 33 kV evacuation capacity for at least 100 megahertz of power through its two units of 60 MVA, a total of 120 MVA. One, they, 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 I'm, I'm looking and we're talking about the 132-33 kV transformers. And this is for the whole of the Orca and environs of the EEDC distribution network. The commitment of the administration to ensuring the completion of this OCA NIPP 132 kV grid substation now provides a hitherto unavailable 70, addi 70 megahertz additional power capacity for driving industrial growth 
and boosting the economy, the economy of the state with positive knock-on effects on employment and the socio-economic upliftment for residents of the states. As you have heard, this is not just for commerce, it is also connected to the new uh, ultra-modern airport at Umeri. So we're looking here at a substantial addition, not just to power capacity, but more importantly to the capacity of, of, uh, of uh, the residents of this state, businesses in this state, to be more effective in their business. So it is really my very special pleasure today uh, to join you in congratulating uh, the governor and all of the people of this state and uh, also to thank the NDPHC for the great work uh, that they have done. And in the next uh, few minutes, we'll be commissioning officially the new uh, ORCA 120 MVA 132-33 KVA substation in Anambra State. Again, I want to commend all of those who have, been, who have done the great work that has led to this particular day where we're able to do this commissioning and to assure you of the partnership of the federal government in doing all that we can do to ensure that our people have the perfect environment for doing business. Thank you very much. And God bless Anambra State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.